Welcome, this interview is with Cesar Curti, international model, international actor, and recently international Mr. International. Mr. So, international, that's yeah. right. <laughs> Caesar. I'll never, I never get used to that. Oh come on! Do, you do have business cards now, don't you? From winning? Nah, not really, man. Uh, I'll send you some. So my first question is: What was your experience like, and why do you think you deserved winning such a, a glamorous title? Well, I've been doing modeling and acting for five years internationally. Mm -hmm. uh, I was doing before here in Brazil just as a hobby. A way to make like an extra money yeah. and then I started five years ago to do it professionally mm -hmm. like travel the world focus like 24 hours of my day mm -hmm. on that mm -hmm. so, like learning new languages getting to know people from other cultures yeah. working out all the time <laughs> and I think I think I was ready I was more prepared than the other guys okay, during cool. the competition well yeah you, uh, you seem you have a great portfolio you've been on the cover of Men's Health Amazing. Yeah, yeah, and uh, you work out. You must work out all the time. Everyone's gonna look at your photos and be like, "How does he do it?" Do you have any secrets that you could share with uh, people today? Well, I think people like they see bodybuilders and they they like to train as bodybuilders, mm -hmm. but they don't they don't think that bodybuilders they are athletes. Mm -hmm. They leave to do that. Mm -hmm. So they have regular meals. They have like good meals, not just like french fries and all that. They yeah. study about nutrition, they study about training. So you cannot do like a bodybuilder's training if you don't live like a bodybuilder's lifestyle. Mm -hmm. I focus more into a balanced lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So I do my workouts, I do like a good nutrition meals, mm -hmm. you know, and I, I do yoga. Mm -hmm. I, I try to balance, you know, I, I try to balance cardio with weights, mm -hmm. with like functional training. Mm -hmm. Uh, martial arts. I try to do like the most a little bit of everything, different yeah. things I can. Well, that's, yeah. that's great. So you do do yoga now. I do a bit of yoga, you know, stretching and, and whatnot. Do you uh, do you find it calms your mind? Yeah, like I'm. I'm really. I like. I'm a. I'm an anxious person, you know. Yeah. So I think yoga really helps me out cool. to calm down, you know, and focus in the present. Start thinking about the solution, not the problem. Yeah. You know, it, it helps me out a lot. <laughs> and, and it helps to touch my toes as well, because before <laughs> I, I couldn't do that. <laughs> Getting back to Mr. International, because I thought to myself when I was uh, planning this interview, if I had a title like that, I mean, I'm not Mr. International, people don't know me, and sometimes at like 11 or 30 or 12 o'clock, I'm waiting in line at a popular club, and I'm thinking, man, there's gotta be a better way to get in here. And I try to give him 20 bucks and it doesn't work. but. Have you ever been in a club and the guy's like, sorry, uh, back of the line, and you're like, do you know who you're talking to? <laughs> this is <a> the <laughs> no, I've never did such a thing, Come on. But, but, but it helps, it helps. <laughs> For example, like you always know someone, like a PR, mm -hmm. and the PR comes up like, hey, this guy won the title mm -hmm. in, last year for Mr. International, he was representing Brazil, blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah. So, Can you so it helps him in? Like more in your, in your career ways a lot more, like uh, getting you forward from A to B, C in your career. So, can you tell me since winning, has there been any new opportunities that have uh, presented themselves? For modeling, it doesn't help so much. Mm -hmm. But I would say, like, for your personal image, helps a lot. Because mm -hmm. a lot of people will start knowing about you, about your story. Mm -hmm. They start seeing your portfolio, mm -hmm. you know helps you out to get new partners cool. like so now I can go to a gym and ask them for like a partnership mm -hmm. I can go to like a supplement shop and ask them for a partnership just because they want and to have you associated with their brand right yeah so okay. you, you, you represent like a a healthy guy you know yeah yeah so when you're doing the competition what did you have to do like uh, you know did you walk up in speedos or did you have to like do 100 crunches really fast did you have to speak in 10 languages what did you have to do to win, you know, such a glamorous title? Uh, I was trying to socialize with everyone, you know, like mm -hmm. be nice to everyone. Of course, I was focused in the competition. Mm -hmm. So if I knew I would, I would be taking pictures, like top less pictures, I was doing my push-ups behind the scenes, you know. <laughs> Get I was with, yeah, even like we didn't have a hotel in the 
a, a gym in the first hotel mm -hmm. with me and my and my roommate that got the the, the first runner up mm -hmm. from Czech Republic, Marty. We were waking up like really early before everyone, going to the rooftop mm -hmm. and doing like push ups, pull ups, abs. Nice. You know, we were really focused, you know. Cool. Some of the other guys, they were waking up at 10, having breakfast. We were, like, paying attention to our diet. Exactly. So, during the whole competition, I was cutting off the carbs from the night. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, it can look, like, ripped in the, in the next day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, uh, I was really focused. Like, even that I, I didn't have all the tools mm -hmm, to mm -hmm. do everything I wanted to do, mm -hmm. I was still, like, trying as hard as I can, you know. And where was to look it? good every day. Where was it again? I, I believe uh, you said it was in Bangkok, right? Yeah, that's Bangkok. what it was in Bangkok, Thailand. Nice. And th that's kind of where you're, uh, you started internationally really getting into modeling, right? Was yeah, that that's right. <laughs> do you have any interesting... 2006? Uh, do you have one interesting story that you could share with people about Bangkok? Because I know Bangkok's a crazy place. Oh, there's many stories. <laughs> <laughs> if I start telling these stories, we hear well, the whole night. Well, uh, I don't know if everybody knows about that, but in Thailand they have uh, massage. Oh, <laughs> they have they have the real massage and they have the other kind of massage. <laughs> Special massages. It's kind of happy ending massage. <laughs> they, they, they call. All right, that's enough. This is PG thirteen. <laughs> so other than that, like Thailand actually is an amazing place. Mm -hmm. Like now it's really. It's very international. A lot of people from all over the world, they go to Thailand as a tourist and they fall in love with the place. And they start living there. Yeah. They start doing courses over there. It's, it's pretty cool. I, I love that place. Awesome. And that helped, helped, me, helped me a lot during the, the competition mm. because I was used to the culture, the people. I could speak a little bit of Thai. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, I was used to the food. That helped me a lot because yeah. the Thai food is so really spicy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, now I love that, but I remember in the beginning it was really hard to get used to it. <laughs> and all the other guys from different countries, they were like, "Man, this is so spicy! I can't eat it!" You know. <laughs> That's good, yeah, the advantage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I had more it. green curry in their uh, their soups. <laughs> oh, I love that, man! I, I miss that. <laughs> so uh, like, nowadays, let me ask you a serious question now. Um, let's say. This is for all those 17 to 21 year old uh, guys or girls out there who aspire to be a, an international model. Would you be able to give them any piece of advice that you think would help them in their quest? Well, modeling is an acting, like I think everything that has to do with arts, if you're a musician or doesn't matter what you do, a writer, it's really competitive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. You must really believe in yourself. That's the first thing. Mm -hmm. and, and be open to all the other opportunities that you can find on the way. Mm -hmm. Some people, like, they focus so much in, in one thing that they forget about everything else. Mm -hmm. But, like, I started modeling, and then I fell in love with acting, mm -hmm. and then I fell in love with m music, then I fell in love with the, this uh, beauty world, like mm -hmm. Mr. Miss, mm -hmm. and uh, I got to know more about this this other part, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, even like business opportunities, you start meeting people all the time, people from different countries, and modeling is not just about modeling. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The, the good thing about modeling is you you have to travel the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. So that's the biggest extra you can have in a in a profession. <laughs> yes, right. That's a pretty good profession. Most people uh, wait their entire lives and maybe go on a few vacations when they retire, but you get to do it as your job. And you're expected to do it. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Very cool. So that, both, that's, that, that's my advice. Like, keep your focus, but mm -hmm. be open-minded to anything. Mm -hmm. And don't complain so much. Because <laughs> most of the models, they complain so much. Yeah. And come on, man. You're traveling the world. Uh -huh. You're doing, like, really nice job. It's, yeah. it's, not, it's not a hard job. Sometimes it is. Yeah, so, yeah, sometimes you have to shoot, like... Like sometimes I, I had to shoot underwear campaigns in uh, almost minus, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, or sometimes you're shooting a TVC for 40 straight hours, yeah. non-stop. Sometimes it can be tough, yeah, but sure. most of the times it's not a tough job. Mm -hmm. You're not a constructor, you know, you, you, it's not a hard job, but still people complain so much and that really uh, affects you, you know, mm -hmm. if you stay all the time with people complaining, if you complain all the time about your life and the jobs, mm -hmm. 
it really affects the way you you behave. Yeah, it's interesting. You do have a very positive attitude. So you would say probably two good points. Believe in yourself and be positive. And be positive, exactly. <laughs> and, and, it's, and try to stick to people that think the same way as you do. Yeah. Otherwise, they will put you down. Yeah, yeah. Because imagine if you're the client and 10 models comes up with their portfolios, everybody looks good. And some people, they just say hi, and they keep like this, and the other guys, they're joking around, they're smiling, you know, they're friendly. Yeah, yeah. Come on, man, like, if I'm the client, I'm, I'm going to choose this guy. He's yeah, going to yeah. sell my, my product. You yeah, know? exactly, sell my product, and I won't mind giving him money because I, I like him. <laughs> exactly. exactly. And, and most of the time, when this, like when this happens, you, you become friends with, mm -hmm. with the client. Mm -hmm. And he can call you back for the next year or for the next campaign or the next catalog, you know. Yeah. It helps. It happens all the time. Now, is there any, like, uh, moments in your career where you thought, wow, this is really tough, this is a tough job, and this is a tough career, am I going to make it? Did you have any doubts about yourself? All the time. <laughs> all the time. That's why you must be positive and really believe in yourself. <laughs> and you're far away from everyone that you know, mm -hmm. so you're building, like, a new life. You're building new friends. You're building new connections. You're you're st starting from zero again. Mm -hmm. So it can be tough, you know. Like you think that you have so many friends, but actually you are kind of kind of alone mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in a faraway place. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But if if you're positive, you know what you're doing, and you keep learning every day. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. Like I always have doubts, mm -hmm. but. They're, they're not big enough, you know, for me, like, to give up. <laughs> I, I, I like these doubts, because you, you want to prove that you're wrong. Yeah, you know? yeah, more like a challenge. And I like them. <laughs> Let me ask you one like, final, final question, then. If you, um, now, coming back from Mr. International and stuff, and you're moving along with your career, what dream have you yet to accomplish that you still want to accomplish? And I'm sure you have many, but what one would you, you know, want to talk about today? I want to live from music, you know. I want to reach the point where just from my music, I can pay my bills, I can leave, I can travel, you know. Because cool. right now, I want to focus on that, but I'm sure music won't pay my, my food and won't pay my rent. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I'm still focusing on in modeling and acting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I hope one day, just with music, I will be able to to leave my life, my family, and everything else. <laughs> I hope so, too. That's Cesar Shikurti, future rock star musician. Thank you very much, everyone. This is the new vlog. Have a great day. Thanks, Danny. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Take care.